So I just recently picked up the NZXC Hue Plus, and I'm going to be installing it in the computer case that you can see behind me. Now this accessory was $60, and if you're thinking about buying one yourself, hopefully this video will kind of guide you in the right direction and help you decide whether spending that $60 will be worth it for what you get. Now after I open up this box and install it and kind of mess around with it for a few hours, I'll tell you whether or not I think this accessory is worth it to buy. Now this is not a sponsored video, I bought this with my own money, so you can trust that my opinion is really my own. So let's see what we got in here. Let's open this thing up. So here's our Hue Plus. pretty small. It's about the size of an SSD and it comes with little mounting holes on it, so I'm going to be installing it in my drive cage. What else does it come with? Wow. So manual, bunch of cables, Molex cable, zip ties, ooh. USB header for the motherboard. Looks like uh, extension, another extension cable. I think these attach to the lights. And some mounting screws. And in this package... Oh, we have our actual lights. They're not that long. They just have some tape on the back of them. And I think these are magnets here. So if you take this off, it comes with a little connector. I think they just connect to each other. Yeah. So there's a male and female connector and you can just attach them to each other like this. So even though individually these aren't very long, if you attach them all together, you can probably get completely around your case. I guess you take this thing and connect it to the Hue Plus, and then you connect it to the lights. And it's a male header, so it goes into the female side of the lights. We're just going to keep this opposite side covered. With these, you'll be able to connect the lights to each other with a longer cord, like if you have to get around a fan or something. We're going to need this. This connects to your motherboard. And this one is the Molex connector for the power.
So when you have it all hooked up correctly, you go into your cam software, which is what you use to control the Hue Plus, and go to tuning, and it'll be under the lighting section. Now each one of these rectangles is your LED strips, so they're all connected to the first slot in the Hue Plus, which is why channel 1 is the only one that's active. And you could make channel 1 and channel 2, and then just make them do different things if you really want to. Now the presets are really straightforward. Fixed is just one color. Breathing kind of just breathes. Fading fades from one color to another, and you could go from faster to slower or whatever. Marquee is that. This is a better version of Marquee. You can change any of these colors. Pulse just pulses, obviously. Spectrum Wave is pretty cool. Alternating. And if you want to make a smoother alternation, you do the Moving tab. And Candlelight kind of just flickers a little bit. Now if you go into Smart, you can change the color depending on what temperature your GPU or CPU is at, or what FPS your game is at. Custom, you could kind of change it to whatever you want. Audio changes the color depending on how loud whatever sound coming out of your computer is. And games, the default one is only CSGO. I'm sure you can download more off of the internet, but your health, it changes the color depending on what your health is. Grenade effect, C4 arming, different colors for different things you do in the game. I personally really like the fading effect. I made one that cycles through all of the colors of the rainbow at the fastest interval. I think this is the one I'm going to use. So what's the verdict? Is this thing worth 60 bucks? Now needless to say, it is pretty awesome and it really shines through the cam software, which allows you to effortlessly change between whatever lighting configuration you want. Now there are a lot of cheaper alternatives you can get off of the internet for example, and if you only want one color light or you don't really care about switching between your lighting profiles on the fly or anything like that, I would say go for the cheaper ones. But if you have a white themed build like I do, the white will reflect whatever LED color you put in your case and you can do some really awesome stuff like the spectrum lighting for example where it switches between the colors of the rainbow. You won't really be able to do that with a case that has a specific color scheme. It won't, I mean you will, but it won't look as good. Like if your case is a red themed build, you probably just want red lights, and in that case, just go for the cheaper ones. For me though, I have a white themed build, and the Hue Plus really brings it together. I'm Ditech, I like to mod computers and build stuff. And if you're into that kind of thing, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next one.